what's up guys welcome back to my channel today uh, we continue what we started last video which is the welfare state we have some nice data here let's start with uh, the occupations in Germany Sweden so northern Europe and the US um, and which one is good occupation which one is bad and the ratio between them so professionals so the good jobs in Germany 14%, in Sweden 21 and in the US 16. The middle jobs, social, health, personal service, in Germany 6, in Sweden 1 and in the US 18. And the bad jobs, like food, cleaning, lodging, 5% in Germany, 4% in Sweden and 7-8% in the US. So the ratio of good to middle jobs in Germany is 2.4, in the Sweden is 1.9, in US is 0.9. And a good to bad ratio is 2.9 in Germany, 4.8 in Sweden and 2.1 in the US. So what we can see here, in Sweden there are many more good jobs than in the US and Germany and in the US there are less good jobs than middle jobs so more people work in middle jobs than in good jobs in the US next is the degree of over and under representation of blacks and Hispanics in selected occupations in the US. So blacks in 70 and 86, Hispanics in 70 and 86. Managers, blacks gained a bit from 70 to 66 but still much underrepresented from minus 27 to minus 21. While Hispanics decreased their a representation from minus 17 to minus 19 so Hispanics have a worse situation in 86 compared to 70 than blacks clerical workers among blacks from minus 10 to plus 1 um, very good um, trend uh, same for Hispanics from minus 8 to plus 5 Industrial workers among blacks from plus 17 to plus 15. So they are overrepresented and similar Hispanics plus 21 plus 21. Among professionals and technical workers, blacks are going on a positive trend from minus 20 to minus 14, but still grossly underrepresented. Well, Hispanics had a worse situation in 86 than in 70 from minus 15 to minus 19. Nurses and teachers, blacks from minus 3 to plus 12 and Hispanics same minus 18, minus 18. In non-professional service workers, blacks are overrepresented and on a higher trend from plus 10 to plus 20 and Hispanics similarly from plus 1 to plus 11. While junk jobs, workers, blacks are overrepresented but on a slightly downward trend from plus 31 to plus 28, while Hispanics are also overrepresented on an upper trend from plus 15 to plus 24. The distribution of women workers in typically male and female jobs percentages in Germany, Sweden and the US. So the Northern Europe and the US. Female jobs like clerical workers, nurses and teachers. Women had 28% distribution in 1961 and 36 so upper trend in 1985. In Sweden similarly from 50 to 55, in the US similarly from 47 to 50. While women in selected male jobs like managers, professional technical, 
in Germany it increased three times from 3.5 to 10.7 from 61 to 85 in Sweden similar from 3.9 to 9 and in the US similar from 8.1 to 18.1 the ratio of good to bad occupation for men and women in Germany and Sweden, the ratio of clerical and industrial workers to managers, and this was 17 to 1 for men in Germany in 1960, and it decreased to 7 to 1 in 85, while for women it decreased even more from 44 to 1 to 7 to 1. While in Sweden the men in 65 had a 30 to 1 ratio of clerical and industrial workers to managers, while in 84 there was only 18 to 1, while for women it went from 99 to 1 to 40 to 1. And the ratio of professional jobs to junk jobs. Germany in 60 for men it was 10 to 1 and it grew to 17 to 1 in 1985, while for women in 60 it was 1 to 3 and then 25 years later it was 1 to 1. In Sweden for men it stayed the same from 65 to say 84, 5 to 1, while for women 1 to 4 in 65 it went down to 1 to 1 in 1984. The ratio of good to bad occupations among men, women, blacks and Hispanics in the US. Managers as percentage of industrial and clerical workers for all men it was 22 in 1960 and similar in 1986, while for women it went up from 5.5 to 12.5. For blacks it went from 4.8 to 6.6 .6, while for Hispanics stayed flat at 7.7 .7. while for all men professional jobs as percentage of junk jobs it was 565 in 1960 and 242% in 86 for women it went up from 55% to 126% for blacks it went from 1970 37% to 1986 74% while for Hispanics stayed flat 63-66 the same period let's talk about inequality so Sweden has the lowest Gini coefficient in this sample similar to Norway Iceland Denmark France Germany Hungary middle while the highest inequality is in South Africa China Peru India poverty and top income shares in 2010 percentage of total gross income going to top 1% on poverty rate so we have higher poverty larger top shares median poverty rate median top 1% share which is around 9% and lower poverty smaller top shares more equalitarian country in the Netherlands Sweden Denmark Norway well more inequality we find in the US, UK, Canada. A brief history of inequality in the UK and the US. From the 50s to mid 60s individual earnings dispersion rose in the US and again from the mid 60s to the end of the 70s again rose in the US. So the household income inequality was stable and in the 90s it was a rise in the UK household inequality and we have a guide to household income so earnings of person 1 plus earnings of person 2 plus income from capital 
plus private transfers that's the household market income or the gross income minus the taxes is the household disposable income divided by the number of equivalent adults that's the household equivalized disposable income and plus the value of public services that's the household extended income